This is Travis Zimmerman of Speak My Word Ministries. The Daily Pulse today is about ghosts. Do ghosts come back? Do ghosts come back and inform us or watch on us? And that was another discussion that came out of, again, talking with a very close friend of mine about, you know, this subject. And it's fascinating to consider because, you know, we, we see movies, we see, you know, we have our own imaginations. We've read books, The Headless Horseman, all these different things, you know, Ichabod Crane. But here, out of the Bible, there's always the most captivating stories ever, and, and specifically, this is about the Saul, King Saul, who was going to, you know, until he disobeyed Samuel's command, which was God's command, not to a number of things. Saul broke covenant with God, with God. But in this situation, Saul has lost the spirit of the Lord, and he's he's now consulting mediums, and he goes to the witch of Endor. And I'm going to jump right in here in 1 Samuel chapter 28 and go from verses 9 through 19. I'm sorry, 8. There is one in Endor, they said. There's a witch. So Saul disguised himself, and he had made a, a rule against uh, sorcerers. And here he went back on his own rule. Putting on other clothes, and at night he and two men went to the woman. Consult a spirit for me, Saul said, and bring up for me the one I name. But the woman said to Saul, Surely you know what Saul has done. He has cut off the mediums and the spiritists from the land. Why have you set a trap for my life to bring about my death? Saul swore to her by the Lord, As surely as the Lord lives, you will not be punished for this. Then the woman asked, Who shall I bring up for you to see? Who shall I bring up for you? Bring up Samuel, Saul said. When the woman saw Samuel, she cried at the top of her voice and said to Saul, Why have you deceived me? You are Saul. The king said to her, Don't be afraid. What do you see? The woman said, I, I, I see a spirit coming out of the ground. What does he look like? Saul asked. An old man wearing a robe is coming up, she said. Then Saul knew it was Samuel. And he bowed down and prostrated himself with his face to the ground. Samuel said to Saul, and again, at this point, Samuel, the ghost, he's, he's perished. Why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? I am in great distress, Saul said. The Philistines are fighting against me, and God has turned away from me. He no longer answers me, either by prophets or by dreams. So I have called on you to tell me what to do. Samuel said, Why do you consult me? Now that the Lord has turned away from you and become your enemy. The Lord has done what he predicted through me. The Lord has torn the kingdom out of your hands and given it to one of your neighbors, to David. Because you did not obey the Lord or carry out his fierce wrath against the Amalekites, the Lord has done this to you today. The Lord will hand over both Israel and you to the Philistines, and tomorrow you and your sons will be with me. The Lord will also hand over the army of Israel to the Philistines. Immediately Saul fell, and I'm going to stop there for 19. Again, a long reading, but here we see in Scripture, and again, this is 1 Samuel chapter 4, verses the beginning, and part of 7 up through 19, we see Samuel consulting a spiritist, a sorcerer. And she you know, ostensibly brings up Saul, uh, Samuel. And I've read in, in accounts and in Bible commentaries, you know, was, was this an actual event or did it actually, you know, or, or was it, was it a, an illusion in Saul's mind? But again, the, the point here is, is there was a ghost that was brought forward. So, you know, with my, with my father perishing, you know, there have been a number of people who have come to my mom and said, hey, you know, this, this is happening. You know, we, we, we sent smoke. And that's hard because, you know, we want to believe that, you know, the, the dad's still here, and, and, and probably there's, there's few things that bring the Zimmerman family more comfort than having dad back right now. We miss him like crazy. But really where I would, I've settled on it, and I would encourage you to discuss this as well and just pray for God's understanding and wisdom is whether dad came back or not, we don't know in a spirit or otherwise. I don't think that he did, but what I do know is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, that ghost, the Holy Spirit, is with us and that is assured in all of scripture even from the beginning of genesis to the end of revelation we're promised the holy ghost that will be with us and god is in the righteousness in the truth and the wisdom the spirit of the living god lives among us and and that is infinitely more comforting than knowing my dad may be watching out on me as much as i love my dad jesus promised the holy spirit the holy ghost he is with us now and let's grab onto that and just worship him in jesus name amen